joining us tonight, historic flooding across Dane County, leaving thousands in the dark as well responsible for at least one death and stranding hundreds of people. Governor Scott Walker and Dane County Executive Joe Parisi both declaring a state of emergency. The governor planning to tour the damage tomorrow. We have continuing team coverage tonight. Amy Reed in Belleville, where a dam is breaching tonight. Keely Arthur in Mazomani, which saw devastating flooding. And Chief Meteorologist Gary Canal to keep an eye on the forecast. Let's go right away to Amy in Belleville, where residents are trying to save parts of the village. Amy. That's right, Eric. We are in Belleville, where the community is really coming together to try and save the town. I'm going to step out of the way. You can see just how many sandbags this community has filled tonight. Look, we're looking at a pile of hundreds, probably. They're filling these around the corner. A uh, police officer told me that the entire town is out here uh, shoveling, tying, and throwing sandbags to get together for the community. Even people that say that they weren't involved at all, they just said that they couldn't sit by and let the community work on this without them. My brother's home is over by the fire department and it's starting to flood a little bit with all the houses over there. It's, it's a mess behind uh, the fire department. Like it is just, there the water is so high at this point. Now, the water is so high, he said that that's the highest that he's ever seen. A lot of people on Facebook, in person, they're echoing that concern that this is the highest they've ever seen. This started when the Sugar River right, rose too high and it breached the dam. But I talked to the fire department. They said it's not broken, just breached, and they are keeping a close eye on it, as we will, too. You can keep uh, an update what's going on on channel3000.com. Eric, I'll send it back to you. All right, Amy Reed, live in Belleville tonight. A lot of members of that community working hard to, to try to uh, alleviate that situation. Amy, thank you. And some incredible video 